Hey everyone, it is Andrea and today I'm coming at you with a reorganization of my Planet Hannah Specialty Foil Colors album. I have a lot in here and I need to separate this into two different albums. So I figured I would just take you on this journey and I was trying to think like what I want to do as far as the albums go. But I think for the Planet Hannah fun foils, I want to use like these more shiny albums. And I'm thinking that I want to do like maybe just these two. Like I'm going to be reorganizing all of my albums. So this one is like a current problem. But I think like these two would be cute to have Planet Hannah in because they're kind of like similar colors. So I'm thinking basically, sorry, Nicholas called me. Yeah, I think I want to move them into this gold binder and then this binder, which is currently my rose gold binder. So I think that's what the current setup is going to be. This is just going to be a very chatty video. It's not going to be anything fancy, fancy. So let's go ahead and start with the lighter album, I think. I think, like, I've not been, like, in a slump, like a planning slump, but I feel like I'm kind of overwhelmed with my collection because it's kind of all over the place. So I think this would be nice to get everything under control. So I'm thinking about doing, I right now I have them in kind of like rainbow order in these sleeves. These are all B6 print impression um, planners that I use as like sticker albums. And then these are all sleeves that he sells in shop. Right now I have them, like I said, in kind of like a rainbow order, which I kind of think I want to keep them that way. So I think I'm just going to kind of like split it down the middle and go ahead and place half in one, half in the other. And then we're going to go through and organize each and every a little section. Actually, I'll probably just do it this way. We'll organize them as we flip them in. So I have all these little stickers from Hannah. She sells these in her shop. So I could kind of, I guess, like organize them a little, I guess. Or maybe they're in like a little bit of a order. So this one's burgundy. So basically, I'm just going to be taking these off their backs. And I guess we could just do it this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to plop this on here, burgundy. I think that looks nicer than these. Though I love them, they look nicer than these Snape sticky notes. So it's in my garbage pile. And here I have a bunch of different stuff. But I should also be making like a note of like what I could order from these. But I think that looks really nice to have it just kind of big on the bottom in the color. So burgundy. And then the next one in here is Pixie Red, which I do love. She just released a bunch of new foil colors or they're being released. I don't know when this is going to be going up, but... Like how nice does that look? Pixie red right there. Okay. And then this one is, actually I don't know. I also do have some like other shop stuff in here. Like there is some CD, um, CD stickers and then cross press. This is just like red I think. It doesn't have a sticky note on it. So we're gonna go ahead and stick the red on there. I just think overall this is gonna look so aesthetically pleasing. And I feel like also it's just been kind of on my list to make these albums less big especially my underlay albums just kind of like large and in charge so i really need to find a new solution i was gonna do this is deep pink i was gonna do a um like a bigger binder which i still might for underlays because i have so many of them but i just also don't want i think this is just regular pink has again some stuff in here from Sadie's stickers, which is more like a sparkly pink, which might go better with Hannah's new sparkly pink. But also I don't really use icons like that, so I'm just gonna put them in my <gasps> garbage. You. So yeah, this is all like pink stuff. Oh, but I guess there's like other parts to it. This is like sparkly. She's gave me her new stuff. I don't know where I put oh, it's right here. <clears throat> the new foil colors let me see if this matches the sparkly magenta color she's coming out with here yeah i think i'd actually put these together so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side for whenever she comes out with new labels for those i don't know why some of it's also like one way and then the other way but this is just hot pink i think question mark is that pink and then this one is pink hollow and then this one i think is light pink yeah i think that's right 
And then also I could figure out what the names are because sometimes I'll be like going through and I'm like, oh, I want to use this color. And I'm like, honestly, don't know what it's called. So that looks so cute. I love the April font of the month, which is now going to officially be a like regular font of the month, which I think is so fun. Have you organized anything recently in your stash? I feel like reorganizing my stickers and just like cleaning up my desk reinvigorates me. It, I feel like whenever I have like a cluttery mess of like an area, I um, can't really concentrate and then I get overwhelmed and then I don't want to do anything and I just spiral a little bit. I've been just kind of spiraling a little bit recently, trying to get it all under control, but I also just feel a little, a little unhinged on the inside sometimes. Okay, so pink tie-dye. Oh, it just looks so nice. I just can't wait to see this all like laid out and beautiful. Coral. It looks so good. Because I don't have a lot in, but it's nice to have like a little base. And then this is like, I'm not sure. There's orange and then there's pumpkin i think this one's orange which again it's nice to be able to be like okay this is what this is because i don't have labels on these ones this is orange it's more like a like blood orange i guess color and then there's pumpkin whoopsie daisy i feel like seeing these little invisible holes is a little hard sometimes pumpkin which again has a lot of like oranges in it from my shop and other shops as well I feel like this could technically go into another, like an actual cello, because there's nothing used on it. But also maybe it's my reminder that they look the same in color. So we'll just leave them there. I have room now that it's two albums. Um, I also have Gold Hollow, but I might actually put Gold Hollow in the back because I feel like I always forget that it's mixed in here. There's also Caramel, Caramel, let me know how you pronounce that. So I think that these are little should just put them in the order that she gave them in. Caramel is in the back. But I think caramel is more of an orange color. So I'm going to leave it in with the oranges. And then we'll move in. So that's like yellowy colors. There's also copper. Which. I'm going to keep in here. Because I feel like it's the, it's the shiny version of... The color we just did it's like more of an orangey color it's like a it's like a coppery pumpkin i guess that would make sense again we'll have a ton of this but good to have a little base going so there's no yellow but we do go into the greens which there are a couple different greens and i also put pearl in here which i don't know we'll see if one does there's dark green light green and then olive and then there's also a lime, but I don't know where lime is. I think these are in color order. Am I just missing it in my brain? Lime. We'll just put that one to the side and see if we can find it. Oh, no. Just kidding. It was right under Gold Hollow. I switched that one on over. Okay. So let's put this one in. I feel like this is the most yellowy of all the colors. So we're going to put that next to yellow. Like having them in color order is just easy then for being able to find colors. You could go to your blue section, go to your green section, whatever you like. Light green. It's a really cool like neutral green color. And then dark green. Again, it's like neutral cool kind of green. Put that on there. And then we have olive and pearl. I think I might put pearl in the back. And then I think I'm going to put olive in here. Because I feel like olive definitely is greener. Like I use it more with a green spread. And then that was this half. And then obviously I have all of these foils. I need to get um, the new foils. I'll need like little labels for. But I feel like that's a little bit more of a manageable selection but we'll go ahead and put the rest in the other album and maybe i want to put like the blue in that album if i'm putting you know these other ones where'd they go these ones i'm moving into 
there so y'all end up putting blue there is quite a lot of blue though like a lot there's this many blue maybe i will though because i feel like mm, we'll just put it in here and see how it goes so as far as blue goes there is um a lot so we have navy which to me looks almost black then we have dark blue then we have mid blue then we have light blue blue tie-dye blue hollow and ice okay so those are blues so i think i'm gonna do it lightest to darkest till we go into purple so the first one here is going to be ice, which is honestly, I don't know. I think ice and light blue are nice, but I think that if I had to pick, if you said, Andre, you could only use one color, I'd probably pick light blue. I feel like light blue matches more. With that, I have a lot of SBC stuff in here that is like a light blue. I have some crust press stuff in here that's a light blue. And I feel like light blue foil is probably, oddly, one of my, like, also did I mention that my throat, I like lost my voice, like it went bye byes and it hasn't like fully come back yet that's why my voice sounds weird but anyways i feel like oddly the like fun foil i end up using the most is light blue or like i notice matches the most spreads is light blue which is kind of odd right blue hollow let me take the little sticker off this one okay mid blue we have navy, which I'm going to put after to the blue tie dye because obviously blue tie dye is way lighter. lighter. We have blue tie dye. Cute, 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 cute. I don't even know if I've used blue tie dye yet, but it's such a fun one. Okay, so that's blue. And then I also have dark blue, which I actually should probably put before navy, huh? silly silly draw this is like the perfect like this almost looks like if it was just a smidge darker it would be also a navy so i like that one for like a dark like anything you need like a dark blue for like a fourth of july kit or something i feel like that'd be perfect then we have our purples which again there's quite a few purples i think there's a new purple that came out too so we have dark purple light purple lavender purple hollow and purple tie-dye so i think i'm gonna again put them in light to dark so i feel like oddly the lightest is probably lavender because it has the shine versus the light purple is more of a matte i'll stick that on there i'm not like putting the like names in the direct corner or anything i just like it to be big and big and in the in the corner i don't know I don't know what I'm saying. Barely ever know what I'm saying. Light purple, and I love this font. I just feel like it's like a thick font that you can really see all the colors in. We'll do purple tie-dye next. What is your most used fun foil color? You can also, if you want to, tell me what your most used, this one has like flex on it most used non fun foil colors i feel like my most used well i don't know because i feel like my most used fun foil color like i guess like fun fun would be the blue but i feel like my most used regular fun would probably be like champagne lights or like lavender hollow Shanna is coming out with lavender hollow which is fantastic i've only been on her butt for like ten thousand years being like all right hannah we're in a lavender hollow option i don't think that has one on there okay all those and then it kind of moves into um like more neutrally colors but i used to have rainbow at the end but i feel like because rainbow is like a color rainbow and this has a bunch of my stuff in it too this is red white and blue i don't have red white and blue or unicorn in my collection though because i just don't i never use them so i just didn't need them so i'm gonna put rainbow in i'm also gonna there's gonna be other rainbows and then as far as after this i feel like i should do maybe let's see hollows and then move into gold so i'll do this one maybe yeah i think i'm gonna do this one which is shattered hollow all of my regular pixie hollow stuff goes into my main collection which i 
Like, this has, like, all the icons and scripts and stuff. And my, like, Pixie Hollow, which I would call um, Sparkly Hollow, like, I just put in with my, like, regular supply of things, not in, like, a special. And then I also don't really have any Heart Hollow either. So I'm going to leave that one out. And then, um, then we're going to move into probably... Um, probably matte silver because that's like another one that's like I think then would go gray after sparkly Ho or shatter hollow because it's more of a gray color and then afterwards maybe say another thing I don't have like silver or um, light gold because I would put that with my regular gold stuff or even pixie gold I would put with my champagne light stuff Regular gold, I don't buy regular gold anymore because light gold matches my stuff better. And then um, I think next what I would do is pearl because it's another matte and it's not too gold. It's kind of in the middle of gold and silver in my opinion. So I'm going to do pearl and then I will probably do, again, matte bronze. I'll go through albums of those later. Matte gold, I, or I do have some matte bronze in here. So I should probably actually just go ahead and nix this and put this in with my matte bronze stuff. I have a matte bronze album. And then I have autumn tie-dye. I have matte gold. I have rose gold. And then I have antique gold. Again, the light gold, I feel like I could just take apart and then put these with my regular gold supply. Um, black. Um... I could keep black. I think black would be a good one to have. Hollow, I don't need. And then there is also pixie gold, which I'm just going to go ahead and put this in with champagne lights because realistically, I use them interchanging. They are a little bit different. Like the lavender hollows are almost like basically an exact match, but like the champagne lights, pixie hollow, those are definitely, or pixie gold, those are definitely a little bit different, but they're not like different enough that I think that they need like separate spaces for them. So let's go ahead and put these in order then. So pearl, let's do matte gold, I think, after that because it's also matte. So I feel like that's a good transition. Then we have antique gold. I'm going to flip through and make sure I took all these little stickies off of them because we're trying to be professional and sleek now. Autumn tie-dye, I think, which is so fun. Autumn tie-dye and rose gold. And then last but certainly not least, I think I'll do black at the end because then I can also do... I could also do a white one eventually and then also in this one I can put my black and they will just do white at the end and then this is black just put these in here and then for white I'll just make one behind it and then put the white I don't really ever use white ones I like the black ones better but just to have and then I think I will also so, also, 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 put that garbage away. And then I think I'm going to save the rest of these just in case in the future I decide to, like, change things up a little bit. And I will just go ahead and stick these in the pocket. But I don't want, like, any foil bits to get on the planner just in case. I'll just grab. I always keep, like, a couple extra cellos laying around. You never know what you're going to need them for. And I'll just stick this in here. Make this tight. And then I have all of my extras. I'm just going to slip in this pocket. If I ever need them, I can pull them out. So I think that that looks a lot better, a lot more manageable. And like I said, Hannah's coming out with... Oh, wait, just kidding. JK, JK. There is one more for in here, which is the second one. The lighter one is the first one. So I do have gold hollow to throw in here, too. So I think gold hollow would be good after matte gold. This one's thick. Which kind of makes me think I might want to put blue in the other album. I feel like, look at this difference. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and move blue over and see how that looks. 
how do you organize your fun foils? I'd love to know. So let's go ahead and move blue over and see if that alleviates any of the thickness. So basically this would just be purple onward. Yeah, blue's not like really, I mean it's thick, but it's not that thick. But also maybe I want to like move them around a little bit more. I feel like it's a more balanced amount now. Ish, I don't know. I feel like once I add in like when Hannah comes out with all of these colors, I think I'll be able to kind of like maybe split them more and then be able to do half in each. But overall, I think this looks way more manageable and I also really like the um, labels on the bottom. I think that's very, very helpful, especially because I didn't have sticky notes on all of them. But I think this looks really sleek and it's gonna get me excited to go in and pick fun foils to match up with my spreads. I love this font. I'm gonna go through and just give you a little flip and see if I missed any of those sticky notes. This was the kind of red through blue. And then this is the purple through kind of like more normal foil colors, I guess, or like fun core foils. I missed some here. Oh, goodness. Y'all were probably, as I was putting down, going, Andrea, y'all missing all of them. And I was probably like, la di da di da Okay, so only three, not too bad. But that is everything for this video. Thank y'all for watching. And I will talk to y'all in my next video.